I saw a local uh, a TV commercial the other day uh, that was advertising for a uh, hospital that had a success rate of 98% survival for particular kinds of cancers. And then that's all that it really said. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of deceiving. Um, and I'm sure we, you hear a lot of things like that. What is that really saying to people? Well, I think it was Mark Twain who said it best. Uh, if you beat on the statistics long enough, they'll tell you anything you want. And he said there's lies, damn lies, and then there's statistics. And so, you know, there's ways of massaging numbers to make them look better than they really are. Uh, the fact is, if you take all cancer numbers and put them together in America, which means that two-thirds of cancer patients are going to receive chemotherapy, over half will receive radiation, uh, those who are appropriate will get surgery, and you take, that's the chemo radiation surgery model, and with that, 2% um, of all chemotherapy patients will receive a breakthrough with their chemotherapy, meaning it's effective. Um, you know, Lance Armstrong was one of them, and, and wonderful. He survived advanced testicular cancer. But the real numbers, if you put it all together, surveillance, epidemiology, end result says that the current way we're treating cancer is ineffective. We can do better. I mean, for instance, there was a, a study that looked at melanoma, which is called a poor prognostic cancer, poor prognosis, uh, something like 5% uh, survival at five years. And they compared a Gerson program, which is a lacto-vegetarian approach, and some other supplements compared to the standard approach with melanoma, and Gerson won heads down. So if you say, we have 98% survival, when? After they got out of the, uh, the waiting room? Um, and so comparing the therapies, I think, is extremely valuable. And now we're starting to get some statistics on that. Um, another serious paradigm shift that needs to take place in America is the fact that uh, healthcare is a three trillion dollar a year business. Um, the pharmaceutical industry generates 380 billion a year in the U.S. alone, and so there are many people who are hesitant to move away from their model if it works, but it doesn't make them money. So we have to keep in mind this is a business, and if we can start looking at cancer more from the standpoint of advances rather than keeping entrenched vested interest making their current billions or trillions.